What's up everybody, Miss Montana De Leon here with another video about um, relationships and finances, specifically marriages and finances, and mm, a couple of ways of how to handle finances in a marriage, my suggestion. Of course, you guys can do whatever you please to do, whatever makes you happy in your life, but these are just suggestions for people who just don't know where to begin with how to handle finances in a marriage. Um, one of the rules as far as handling finances in my eyes is if you have two working two working um, spouses in the marriage, then one person, you would live off one person's income and then you would save for retirement or savings or vacation, whatever you're going to do with it. I would suggest you save for retirement with the other person's income. So you spend one income and you save the other income. That's if you have two working spouses in the house. Um, another thing that you can do is have three accounts. You have your account, you have the joint account, and then you have his account. Um, with this, the joint account, of course, you guys pay bills and handle all the, you know, emergency, you know, emergency money, bill money, everything is in the joint account. So if things in the marriage come about, bills or um, a pipe bursts in the house and has to be fixed, it has to come out of the joint account. So you don't have to, you know, talk to your spouse about it. You know this money is set aside for that. In your account, you can go and purchase whatever it is that you need to purchase without having to argue about taking money out of, you know, this account to buy this because that's what's your money. Because um, I, I really think it's very important to have your own money that you saved up for, you can do whatever you want as long as all the bills or everything are paid coming from the joint account and your money is paid first to the joint account or whatever you have left, savings or whatever you want to put in your own personal account after you, you know, contributed to the joint account. Make sure all the bills are paid and everything, then anything else left over extra, you can, if she has a shoe fetish, she can go buy shoes without, you know, come consulting with you because the money for the house and the savings and all that is already taken care of. You have your own personal account to um you know to spend from and he has the same thing if he wants to go buy a boat with his money let him buy a boat with his money he doesn't have to consult you okay not a boat maybe like a, a new playstation or something in 15 games or however whatever he does with his money he doesn't have to consult you because this is money that he saved and he put aside specifically to do what he wants with knowing that all the bills and the savings and retirement and everything is already taken care of this is play money this is when you have someone and you're married to someone who just has whatever kind of spending habits they had before. Um, and they still want to enjoy the things that they used to spend money on. And they don't want to have to stop it and give it up just because they're married. They still want to have that happiness. So you have these accounts. So you have this joint account where you do what you got to do with a joint account. Even if you have two joint accounts. One is for paying bills. One is for savings. One is for retirement. If you have three, whatever you need to have, you know, that you guys um add two together and then you have your own two personal accounts that you can do whatever you want to do you don't have to consult with the other person because this is money that you saved up enough to do whatever it is you need to do and there's no argument about it um you don't have to consult them about it because everything else in the house and the bills and the savings everything's already taken care of you can do what you want to do with your extra money as long as the family and the bills are taken care of you can do what you want to do with your extra money or your overflow of money now if you have one person in the house that's not working maybe like a housewife I personally don't believe in just being a housewife and not having any kind of money coming in on your own. Um, so if you are a person that's in the marriage that is not working male or female, stay at home mom, stay at home dad or whatever it is, try and find some kind of way to bring in some kind of money, um, some kind of hustle, anything that you can do. Like I make wigs, um, uh, do makeup, whatever it is. I'm a housewife, but I still have income coming in on my own I'm just not just sitting here cooking and cleaning and being housewife and mommy like I'm actually if anything is needed and I have it financially oh I'm good I got it I got money saved up I'm sitting on it whatever you know what I'm saying but have something to contribute to the marriage don't just and even if the marriage goes south or whatever, like you don't want to just be like, oh my God, I'm getting divorced. So I'm going to have to start life all over again. How am I going to take care of the kids? I don't have money. I have a job. At least you have a head start and you have some kind of income coming in. You have some kind of way to take care of yourself and your children in case of, 
you know, the unfortunate event of Pete gets caught cheating and tries to come home and bring you back AIDS or something. I don't know. And that goes back to my video about cheating. Will you take your husband or will you divorce your mate um, after you find out they're cheating? I keep twisting my hair because they're stretching. Like, that's the beginning of the braid and it's whatever. But, yeah. Those are just my little outlooks on um, how to handle money in a marriage. It makes sense to me. This is what works for me. Um, what are your, your outlooks on it? And how do you feel about, you know, finances and marriage? I don't talk about boyfriend-girlfriend relationships because, as you Christians know, boyfriend and girlfriend was never in the Bible and also, boyfriend and girlfriend was, you know, high school days. So we're grown ups now. We either are together or we're just dating. We're married. I'm committed to you in a marriage. I won't be committed to you and taking myself off the market as a girlfriend or boyfriend. I don't have a ring on my finger. But um, I speak solely about marriage. I really don't care about girlfriend and boyfriend. Crap. That's high school for me. But yeah, let me know. Um, if you know, don't know what I'm talking about, you look back at the video that I made. That says, I don't believe in girlfriend boyfriend titles. Search keywords to find that video. I don't believe in girlfriend and boyfriend. I've stopped believing in girlfriend boyfriend titles a long time ago. But that's my outlook on finance. I hope that gives you kind of an idea of what you can do if you have nowhere to start. Or switch up what you're doing now because this may sound better. And also, let me know what you do as far as finances in your marriage. Let me know how that works out, um, married people. I'll talk to you all later. Love some.